my girl, she, I don't know if she likes her friends. Okay. <laughs> they usually don't. You know, they usually don't. Because the way when they I'm talk with, about them, because the way they she talk about, you know, I said, hey, why don't you go hang out with your friends? I, I don't want to hang out with them. I, you know, I, I'm tired of them. Every, you know, every time they go out, it's something. She's like, I'm never hanging out with them again. And boom, 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 boom. And then it's like, uh, like three give weeks it, later, give it three she's like, months. Yeah, she's like, not even three months. She's like, I'm going to lunch but, with so and so. And I'll be like, I thought you why? didn't like her. It's just with my girls. I, I thought you didn't like her. She goes, Yeah, I don't. But you know. And I say, like, Well, so then what I'm saying <laughs> is like, when I bring it up, I get attacked. Yo, what's up, uh, Square Pimpergate? On this episode, we have my boy Eric Griffin and the house uh, from The Office and HBO and all kinds of other shit. Uh, we talk about overcoming PTSD in relationships, women have integrity, amnesia, when they negotiate in a relationship, and we try to convince Harry to finally have a baby. Oh, yeah, uh, that's, that's, that went real well. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, thank you for supporting the show. If you love the show and want to support the show, uh, you can join us over at Patreon, patreon.com slash manschool202. That's where we do like uh, all our bonus content. Uh, and on today's Patreon, we're going to be answering listener mail. That's uh, So we're going to be giving life advice about uh, sex, dating, uh, technique, what you should and shouldn't be doing. All that stuff is available over at patreon.com slash manschool202. And then on top of that, Dante and I do uh, relationship consultations. If you want a consultation from me, you can just hit me up via email, advicefromharry at gmail.com. And if you want it for Dante, you go to uh, Dan- DanteNero.com and click on consult, right? Yep, that's it. All right. Yo, thank you let's for get at it. it. Let's do it. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. Hey, yo, what up, Square Pimp Brigade? G-Y-B-D, get your balls back. W-W-D-D, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited. Uh, This is a special show. Now, I know I've said that 600 times before, but this time I mean it. Because we got a special (laughs) guest. (laughs) First and foremost, my partner in crime, Harry, was popping was popping my life is popping every day every day, every day. yeah every day i get up i'm like what, what's the next thing it can't keep popping but it pops again it what? pops again and again and again and again and again it's crazy Infinity. and another one that's what the kids are saying right and another what the kids one. do and another I one I don't, I don't know if the kids are saying that <laughs> i don't know i can't keep track man these fucking kids don't keep it's on one thing man it's, but it's popping just when I, I mean, learn what the more- kids are saying, they just start saying some other shit. It's not right. <laughs> but, but they start saying other shit because you're saying it. Mm, that's that's exactly <laughs> why they, true. you know. This is true. Yo, let me introduce my guest, uh, my boy, my man, my man, 100 grand in the building. Funny as motherfucking fuck. Creative as motherfucking yeah. fuck. Super funny. Give it up dude. for Eric Griffin, yo. Eric Griffin Yay. in the building. And then, like, hey, was, were you eating Cinnabon? Because you got, like, something on your shirt. Can you, like... You do have something on your shirt. Yeah. Though, Dante, Jesus. It's yeah, still it's on like, your shirt. No, yeah. that's a that's a permanent one. That's yeah, a like, permanent one. Oh, yeah, no. Like, like you snotted on the shirt or something like that. No, oh, that was, no. Uh, that was Fruta de Mar. I was eating some cl- <laughs> uh, mussels. I just I, were you, were you so eating I just mussels got, with a black shirt before <laughs> you I mean would you really not eat mussels with a black shirt? I mean would not no. I mean, you would think I, I bet you don't have a shirt without a stain on it. That's what it looks like. Uh, I I literally just got off the plane from DC <laughs> like an hour ago. So I apologize. Uh, it's all good. I just want you to look, you know. You know. Yeah, like I appreciate a, you. Is that like better now? Is that better? No, not really. It now we going to see it's it the there. whole show. It's there. <laughs> it is not better. You also have a monitor, Dante, so you should you be able what? to see it in the monitor. I, I'm t- then you know what? Let me get a shirt. Let me see what shirt cuz I feel like this is going to distract everything. How are we talking? It's 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 there. It's there. I'll, I'll talk to Eric about something cuz even though we first we first met, uh I've seen Eric do a bunch of different things, but my favorite thing you did was in the documentary uh, that they did about the the comedy store. Oh, really? Wow. That you got okay. to do. Well, I mean, when I say favorite thing, it's I. I'm going to talk about a specific moment that I thought okay. was Some that I that like enjoyed. that I respect. So it's not my okay. favorite thing of all your work because you're a funny dude. It's my favorite thing as a com- a working comedian when you did that documentary and they go. Well, you know, some of the comics, they were being paid for, you know, the the system was that you didn't get paid. You got exposure. 
And everyone from the old school days was talking about that. And you went, nah, that's uh, that's extortion. That's that's not <laughs> a pay system. Let's cut the shit. And I respected that. And I think also something a little bit about you talked a little bit about the day, you know, when people would abuse the stage time and famous dudes would come in and you kind of shit on that a little like, yeah, that wasn't cool either. Like, let's not let's not glorify this shit. Well, I respected I, you know, the realness of it because my, my thing is like this is like. I don't, and I should let it go, but it's like, I just like when people, like, be 100, you know? I agree, like, yeah. Like, like one time, I was at the Laugh Factory in, in L.A., and then, like, I'm about to go on, and then, like, Drew Carey walks in, you know? And he's yeah. like, hey, he's like, yeah, hey, uh, you know, I, can I go next? I got to go to this other, I, I got to get to my other spot. Right, and in right. my mind, I'm thinking, if you bumping me here. You could bump somebody there, too. You can get to your other yeah. spot whenever you want. So right. just tell me you don't want to wait and you want to go up. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I hear you. Just now, so did you he want do go a quick up. 10 and bounce or did he did he did he shit on the fucking room? For, no, 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 no. He did it. He did his time and he went. You know what I mean? I just and it's just, like, this is nothing on him. You yeah. know what I mean? He's earned the right to like, you know, but I'm just saying I just don't like when people give you that lip service. Just be yeah, don't like people lying. Yeah. yeah, it's like just own it. So in other words, Drew own is it. a liar. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this motherfucker, dude. <laughs> this is why I'm fuck with E because uh, uh, he just wants no, to start like, shit. I was just talking no. about the the com the, the comedy store documentary. I can he hear was, you. I had my headphones. Oh, you had the headphones. Yeah, yeah. Because he was, was speaking the truth on that, so I had a lot of respect for him on that. Like, yeah, that's bullshit. That's 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 nice talk, but in yeah. reality. That's People should have been I'm getting paid. With Eric, because it's 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 what you see. Yo, he don't he don't lie. He don't he, he straight up. He don't give a fuck. He don't. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's like, but I will say this though. I am also aware of like you know, because I don't like when people are like you know people go like you know I'm keeping it real. I'm I'm, I'm honest. Being honest doesn't excuse you from being an asshole. No, absolutely not. You know, so Absolutely there's a way. Not. There's a way to be tactful. There's a way to like. Yeah, you could be honest you know, and be up sure. front. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? We was we was in the back. Uh, forget who I was talking about. We were talking about um, guns and bullets. And Eric goes, "Well, I don't know any of. I don't know about any of that." Yeah. <laughs> he just, <laughs> yeah. Full when disclosure. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, yeah. That's my, that's, well, that's you know what I, mean? I think it's, it's I think it's more brilliant to be like say yeah I don't know nothing about this uh, <laughs> as opposed to like you know trying to be in a conversation you know nothing about you know what I mean that's that's that and I was like that's why that's my motherfucker for real e what's mm -hmm. been going on Are you good bro Are you, you yeah. good everything been good yeah everything's good you know married you know what I mean this is like five months now since married since June wow yeah. is this your yeah. first marriage yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, I if skipped, you the, might, I skipped the bad. I skipped the bad one and went right to the second young wife. That's smart. <laughs> oh, you went right to that face. See this guy? It's this weird guy because you do. It. Read a map. You, you, it's smart. To read I gotta map, give him credit. Friend. And also, he didn't lose half his income doing it. It's smart. Right, right. It's smart. This, this, this is the one. Still, I, this the one I have to hold on to now. <laughs> yeah. This, do you still introduce her as your second wife? That would be hilarious. This is my second <laughs> wife. <laughs> Have you yeah. been married before? The no, but one. this would have been my second wife. This yeah, is exactly. how nah, I just, yeah, yeah, this is yeah. So that's no, no, not but a bad move. Not a bad move, bro. Because that that is the pattern that people follow, right? In life, you 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 marry too young because we don't know what the fuck you're doing when you get married yeah. in your twenties. People don't know, and it's all it's not fair to them either. You just you're not done growing, and yeah, now you. But I'm, not, but I'm also not. A, I'm not opposed to it. You know, a lot of questions I always ask people, especially young people, when they, you know you ask them like. You know, you know, you'll be in a crowd, see a crowd, and you know, it'd be like, "Hey, uh, you guys together?" And they're like, "Yeah, we've been together like four or five years." I'm like, "Well, you guys are getting married?" And they're like, "Well, we're not ready yet." And I always want to ask them, "How old do you want to be when your kid is 10? Fifty <laughs> six? <laughs> so, oh boy! Wait, wait, wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> you know what no, I mean? Don't say so no. kid is 10? No. So, so that's 63. what I'm saying. That's what 63. I'm saying, man. So I'm already gonna be like, I'm already at a point now where I'm because we're we're trying, we're gonna try to have kids, and I, so I'm gonna be an old dad. And that's not something I think that, you know, I wouldn't wish that on anyone, you know? So it's like, I just think people need to like really, people are so, I think this generation of people is so selfish. All they think about is their self and their, that they don't really, they, they think they're thinking about themselves by being like, well, let me do all I want to do right now, as opposed to really thinking about yourself. Like, we're, how, how do you want to be when you're 40, how when you're 50, when you're 60? 
how do you want this to end up? Then you really are thinking about yourself. So I don't like. I, I, I would you know? say this though. I, I, you know, I avoided having kids for a very long time. And I mean, you know, I, we talked about my wife being in, you know, us being in two different countries. But yeah. I will say this: um, I'm way more equipped to deal with this now than I would. Of course, have been, that's the know, that's the that's the double edged sword. Side. That's the other yeah, side yeah. of it. I get that. Yeah. I get yeah. that. We are more equipped, but you know, I, I just re- think that. Do you do you regret it, Eric? Um, do I regret? Yeah, I I, I regret not thinking about this earlier. Mm. Really? In life, yeah. What were I, you I didn't over, like I, did, you, I, I didn't overcome. I'm saying is I didn't overcome like a bad relationship that I was in when I was younger. I didn't mm-hmm. overcome that. And I was like, for 10 years, I was like, well, I'm never doing that again type of thing. You know what I mean? Oh, you were um, in a bad relationship. But yes, yes, like, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so when I got out of it, when it, when I was out of it, you know, I was like, oh, man. So I just, I regret not. You're traumatized no. to a degree. How long yeah. were you in that, in the bad relationship? And for how many years was it, it bad? It was like, it was like, it was like, it just ended bad, you know? Okay. It, it ended how, bad. But was it good? I mean, I mean, yeah, there was things good when it's new, but right, I mean, right, right. There was some good things was, going on, but I just it just how it ended. It it traumatized me. I had PTSD from it for a while, and then because I because it was a lot of things. It was like I realized in the midst of that relationship, I wasn't working on myself. In the midst of that relationship, I was like trying to support this person and be like, "You could do it. You could do it. You could do it," and I wasn't doing that for me. You know, and so then I woke up one day after helping, after pushing her to be the best she could be. And then we woke up and she's looking at me like, well, what are you doing? You know what I mean? And then wow. it's like, and I don't even begrudge her that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Because you, as a man, you're supposed to do what you got to do. Regardless right. Of and so then somebody's and so then, telling you or not. So then I focused on myself. I did that. I did that like, you know, throughout my 30s in, in into my 40s being like, I'm going to make it. I'm doing this for me. I ain't, and nobody ever going to sidetrack me again. You know what I mean? Right. That kind of thing. But it was really me was doing the sidetracking. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, was so so it was almost like, you know, because I used to have this thing. I used to say women fall in love with you for everything that you are. They spend the rest of the relationship trying to change you into everything that you're not. And then yeah. they leave you for the guy who is what you were like in the first place. <laughs> you know, I mean, Bro, I don't know. If this- <laughs> I always say, you know what? I this is this is something I say, man. You think we're doing our sayings? Like I say that the 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 um, the most you ever actually be in love with someone, like in love, is when you first mm-hmm. meet them because you know nothing mm-hmm. about them. And you feel <laughs> so it's easy. To, it's easy no, to be in love with somebody. No, because what you yeah. do is you fill everything else in with fantasy. Sure. Right, 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 right. And the right. more, and then the the more you get to know someone, the more you start to go. Well, I don't know if I like that, or I do like this. And then you start to see the equation, and it starts to yeah, be yeah. like there's a bunch of pros and cons that you start to go. I don't know if I want to deal with this. Yeah, yeah. So I'll yeah. I'll tell you this as I as uh, I mature and get older. You know, back in the day, I used to see a picture of like a hot girl. I'd be like, man, it'd be so amazing to be with her, right? And then I'm now I'm just like, yeah, I'd be tired of her too. Like I would just. Like I would be tired. She she would be doing the same thing. Like my girl's hot now, so it doesn't matter. It would be the same thing. I would just figure out what the issues are with her, or whatever. There's flaws there, so I don't like romance it as much as I used to. Mike Mike Britt used to say when he you know you be walking with a with a dude be walking with his fine girl and you be looking at her and you be like yo. Y'all you should try her. You try her out, man. It, it ain't what you think. <laughs> like, yo. <laughs> yeah, but that's all the that's all the individual thing anyway. That's yeah. all like, you know, when you get with somebody, you're forming an equation. You're forming a yeah. formula. There's a formula that's uh, that's going on when you meet. Right, so you're saying that there's almost a, a, like you're putting them on a pedestal and you're filling all the blank and you don't you don't yeah. fill in. Most the, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. You don't fill in the blanks with oh yo a pussy stinks. Yeah, like, that's, that's not what you, yeah, that's that that's <laughs> never that that's stuff you find probably. out. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> that's stuff it's you so find out. <laughs> and then you start to go, then you start to weigh the pros and cons, and then it becomes a thing where you go, you know, like my mom used to have this saying, she would say that there are everyone has acceptable and unacceptable negatives. And you just have to decide. Okay. You have to decide what you're gonna put up with. Like an unexplain unaccept- that. Explain that. An, ex- an acceptable negative is snoring. 
to some okay. people. Sure. An unacceptable right. negative could be, uh, you know, drug use, or mm-hmm. like they they or they drink too much, or you know, Fucking you know what I mean. Friends. You have to decide what yeah. you have to decide what your acceptable and unacceptable negatives are. To some people, it could be being a different religion or being a different po- political background. It could be right, right, right. somebody like they, this person wants to travel all the time. And you're like, I hate traveling. It's like right. that could be an acceptable negative to you. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. So like, you just no. have to like you had, you had to get your lists of things together and you figure you, you know you figure it out. But and when you first meet someone, you're in your mind they're everything you ever could have wanted. <laughs> yeah. And then it's up and then the, and it, as each day goes by, they prove to you how they not. <laughs> right. You know and then you, and when you're fifty, you're like, mm, <clears throat> no, this feels too good to me. <laughs> What's <laughs> yeah, wrong yeah. with you? <laughs> no, no. When you're fifty, you go in already with a list of things that you go. Well, she probably got this. Uh-huh. <laughs> she, that's that's what I mean. Where you go, ah, oh, all right, she's hot. But what are the other actual things behind that facade? Well, like, all the time not, when I we know. say. We say a lot. Of, I I say it, the same thing, but a little different. I said just on this, relationships are really easy. Just know what your non negotiables are, and then never negotiate them. Yeah, <laughs> you know if you you this is, but you got to be honest about what your non negotiables are. Right, like right, you, yeah. That's a whole other thing. <laughs> so yeah. Just being honest with yourself, because yeah. you know I let, I've said I've counseled women, and they and I go look. If you're saying fidelity is non-negotiable and you get cheated on and then you stay, then it, it wasn't non-negotiable. It was right. definitely negotiable. Was up baby. for negotiation. Whatever yeah, but, when you're, but when you're young, your, your non-negotiables sometimes are stupid things. Yeah. Like I have a young yeah, friend of mine who's, yeah. who's like, uh, you know, I need to go to concerts and, and, and uh, uh, you know, festivals. That you know, and if she don't yeah. want to go to yeah, that's you know I, I have, have to have that. Up. Yeah, I have to. It's like okay, yeah. that's you know. <laughs> you you've never been in a, a serious relationship because those are negotiable. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's funny. It's funny you say that. I had a dude who called me up. He had a girl who loved to do Molly and go to EDM concerts, like festivals, right? And just yeah, do Molly and dance for like three days. And he was like, "Yo, you know, if you wanna, you want, you know, if that's what you wanna do." And then I, 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 I said, "But you know, the the thing is, the question is, do you want an EDM bitch? Like, yeah, like I, I, I get if that's it's a it. one off, but yeah. is the is the constitution of this bitch? Yeah, she's jumping around in a bikini with with Reebok sneakers. For, yeah, for, does that stop uh, at the festival? or Does that go on at your parents' anniversary yeah. party?" Right. Like, yeah. is that is that something you want to continue? Yeah. Yeah, let's, turn, just, let's turn this party up. You know yeah. what I mean? You're like, wait, what? What are you talking it's about? It's a funeral, my yeah. friend. <laughs> yeah. My, my grandma dog. died. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we doing? <laughs> well, I mean, it's like, you know, you you know, it's like my like my lady, Rachel, is my wife's name. She um, it's like, for instance, so Halloween was, uh, you know, we just we just had Halloween and uh you know, like we, she, she, she bought costumes for us because she's so into that. You know, mm-hmm. and then look at look at Eric's face. <laughs> and then like, no, no, but it was like, but this is the thing I'm, I'm about to. It's a good thing because like, so yeah, we, yeah. so like we dressed up as like Fred Flintstone and Wilma. You nice. know, all right, not bad. I like, I'm liking it. I'm so we dressed it. up, and then she just wanted to dress up and take pictures at home. We didn't even go anywhere or do anything. Okay. And I'm so down with that. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't like she was like, now we got to go to these parties and boom, 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 boom. She's like, she's a homebody. She likes to like, yeah. you know, we like to go eat at restaurants. We like to watch movies. We like to chill. She likes to sleep for 15 hours. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, yeah. you just like, you go, oh, these are like, I have so many little things on my list of that I love about her that add up to like a huge sure, thing. Yeah. yeah. And that's what you realize yeah. when you turn 50, you go, Oh, like these are little things that I like, you know. Yeah. Like we have, gr- like we have great deals around the house. It's like you know, I take the trash out, I wash the dishes, she washes the clothes, you know. Mm. And it's like when you have deals, like I was just telling my young friend, and his, he was he has a couple, they moving in together, and they already fighting about stuff. And I was mm. like, yo, y'all need to have a deal. If you worried about the trash or you don't want to do the trash, then make he that's his, 
and yours is yours. And then now you right. can hold each other accountable and you can't get mad yeah. about it. If right. my shit is to take the trash out and I haven't and taken I, the trash out, it's, she's 100 to be like, yo, what's up with the trash? Then I'd be like, yeah. my bad. That's my, because that's the deal. And you've already made the deal too. too. Now, yeah. the, pr- the problem is though, uh, and I've always said women have what what I call uh, 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 integrity is, uh, amnesia. Um, integrity amnesia, <laughs> like what a lot of times what they agree to on the front end is not what they agree to on the back end based on the emotional state at the time when the deal was made. And so, how do you keep that? How in your situation, how do you make that keep that accountable? And how and how does that work? Because, like you just said, if you're aware of that. Then yeah. how do you let that bug you? It's right. not like like Fair the point. first time that happens, then you're like, yeah. whoa, what's going on? But if yeah. it's like if it's like, oh, you know this is happening, and you also know we're gonna get past it, yeah, so yeah, why yeah. why am yeah. I fighting? It's like, you know, it's a path yeah. of least resistance. As you get yeah. older, the path of least resistance is what it's all about. Yeah, it's like yeah, now yeah. I know. If you know your lady, it's like, oh, are you hungry? You hungry right now? You horny? You hungry? You like, you know. <laughs> Is that why we going through this right now? Yeah. Oh yeah, I am. I am hungry. <laughs> yeah. Then it's just kind of you just kind of go boom. But if you like, because like when you're a young man, you're always fighting about like precedent. You know, you fight over the ruler, the rule of law, the principle, That's, the yeah, principle. Yeah. When you're a young man, you fight over principle. You know what I'm saying? When you yeah. get older, you understand that principle is nuanced. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, it's also it's also the fact that you. Um, and you and I, we were talking about this when we was hanging out, is that it's also a matter of, uh, you know, a lot of this, I don't give a, f- I don't care. Like, I don't care about that. I just, yeah. I don't give a fuck about it. That's what you, good. Now, when it do, when it does matter, then you you, you kind of put your foot down and you go, right. yeah, I, but I do care about this. But even that, I think you have to be honest about what you care about and you just, and it just can't be, it just can't be about fighting for the sake of fighting or arguing about yeah. for the sake of arguing. Well, I mean, I you think, know. you know, when you, you know, I think most people when they fight, and I think I told you this too, I think when people fight, they're not even fighting about this what thing they, they brought up. Yeah, they yeah, yeah, fighting yeah. about how they're fighting. Right. That's what okay. fighting wait, always wait, turns wait. into. So it might start with, yo, you, you know, you, I, you didn't make the bed. Yeah. Or, or or they might you might start fighting about like hey you coming home late all the time yeah and then you, it starts there and then right. all of a sudden it turns into well your mama's a bitch because you didn't you know <laughs> and you're like wait hold on a second like wait that's a joke. You know, it, it it always turns into like stop yelling at me you know I'm not yelling at you I'm just talking passionately well that's <laughs> yelling and then now you're fighting about how you're talking to each other you're you know talking what I mean? about the fight yeah the you're fight fighting you talking about the that's what the fight always and then you go hey yeah. we got off track here. We got off track. Right. We were talking about why this happened, you know, and then right. and that's when also because you're not being honest in the relationship in the middle of a fight, people feel like now that I'm emotionally heightened, now it's OK for me to start bringing up stuff. And another thing, you know, yeah. that's yeah. <laughs> and another thing is how people yeah. fight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know it's truth. Mean? It's being it's, it's it, you it, ever it, have a girl do that and then like halfway through realize she's doing it and then stop because one time I was in an, we were in a an argument with this couple this couple me and this girl uh we were in an argument and then like it was heated and then she brought out a, a thing of like a, a, almond milk to be like how come there's not why didn't you finish this almond milk and i gave her a look where she knew like oh this will be the ender i better and then she walked <laughs> back with and put it back in the fridge and shut the thing because she knew that that was like yeah, I think this will be it. This will be the end of the relationship. Well, you, know, you know, sadly, in a relationship, some of the downsides of being in a relationship is this person that is so close to you, they also get your worst because they're so comfortable yeah. with you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know yeah. I'm going to, I and it's like there's like a car blanche to be like, I can be my worst with you. So I'm not this way out in public. You know, so I'm not this way with my friends, with my coworkers. Which is sometimes and, unfair you know, to them. Of yeah, course. On our part, yeah. And, and, that, and that's right. what I'm saying yeah. though. That that's exactly yeah. what I'm saying. But it's like, you know, like my like I like I don't even under, like my girl, she I don't know if she likes her friends. Okay. <laughs> they usually don't. You know, they, they usually don't. don't. Because the way when they I'm talk with, about them. Because the way they she talk about you know, I said, Hey, why don't you go hang out with your friends? I 
I don't want to hang out with them. I, you know, I, I'm tired of them. Every, you know, every time they go out, it's something. She's like, I'm never hanging out with them again. And boom, 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 boom. And then it's like, uh, like three give weeks it, later, give it three she's like, months. <laughs> yeah, she's like, not even three months. She's like, I'm going to lunch but, with so and so. And I'll be like, I thought you why? didn't like her. It's just with my girls. I, I thought you didn't like her. She goes, Yeah, I don't. But you know. And I say, like, Well, so then what I'm saying <laughs> is like, when I bring it up, I get attacked. Like it's like <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then when she goes to see her friend, she can be like this. Hey, girl, good to see you. <laughs> she it's lets like, it all out in the house. So there's no yeah. problems over there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's a funny thing because I feel like we we the thing with guys is is we're malleable. We're not malleable. Like you are who the, like I don't give a fuck. Anytime I've been with Eric and every like I know him. He know he knows what he's going to get from me. I know what I'm going to get from him. I'm OK with it. We've made that decision. There's no surprises. If if I you, it's never a situation where I'm going. Oh, I'm surprised. Whereas I think a right. lot of times women are very malleable with different, different, they have different their friendships yeah. with different people. Like I hang out with them, but I don't talk to them about deep shit. And I I do this with her. We go shopping. We go to you know. It, it's a it's a different. And so they're all they're lying about who they are in the first place. And the part of these people, but if we don't like each other, we just don't we just stop yeah. hanging. Yeah, we just yeah. don't. Yeah, it's just like I just I, yeah, and it's like and I'm, and also and can still, you know. Like it's, it's like comics that don't like each other. Yeah, yeah. It's just, I see you at the club, I'm like, yeah, what's up? You know, and keep it moving. I'm, I'm keep not it moving. To... You My just man, keep it moving. Why you oh, why's your family? I don't give a fuck about your family. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't even. I learned like that. You. And by the way, I learned I that. Hope through, they I, die. <laughs> I heard that. I, I realized that through COVID, man. What do you mean? You know, you know, we 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 were in this pandemic, and then we're like locked up, you know. And then think about the people that you contacted. Think yeah. about the people that didn't contact you. And then when the yeah. world opened up and you saw them again, I realized, I don't care if you live or die. I don't really, I don't really <laughs> fuck with you like that. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? You go, I don't really fuck with you like that. And then if it's somebody that you just say you live on different coasts or yeah, it's yeah, a kind yeah. of thing where you're not in a serious circle. But when you see that person, you go, oh, I genuinely like this person. So well, glad to see you. That was a funny thing. When I saw, you know? I, saw we, I thought that my first gig, Harry, I did my first gig. Um, Eric was leaving. I was, he was like, yo. Yeah, and then instantly we like hung out for the rest of the trip because yeah. it's oh, this like is that's, a skank fest. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm saying that that's a good example. It's like when you live like different coasts, and it's like you know. But I mean, like my immediate circle of people that I see, I realize fuck oh, we just fuck these are just hallway with. relationships. Yeah. They hallway yeah, yeah. relationships. You it's know? funny, Harry. Something funny happened. We was uh, and this is the you talk about the maturity of understanding things and just looking at things perspectively. We're we're out at dinner, and um, I'm not gonna name no names. Just the one time I'm not, but it was <laughs> some younger dudes. Oh boy, some younger yeah, dudes, some young right? Cats. <laughs> and uh, and you know, Eric is is well established. Let's say. And so I don't I don't know exactly what, but he was just talking about something about just not 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 bragging, but it's just like you do shit. You do shit and you talk about it. You're just talking about it. Sure. And so the young dude was like, yo, I'm, I'm on TV, too. I, I, I. And I could and, and I was there actually in another conversation. And as soon as I heard it, I was like, oh, this is the. Uh, this is this insecurity because Eric don't really do. He don't get down like, like he's not a dude. He, and you like know what was happening? A, I was busting their balls. That's all it was. It was right, just two right, guys. Right. I was like, ah, these two ain't shit. You know, we were just messing around. It was the two young dudes sitting across from me. And I'm like, yeah. ah, these two ain't shit. You know what I mean? And he like took it like, well, hey, you know, I'm also on TV. You know what I mean? And when oh, I heard boy. that, I was like, when I heard that, I was like, oh, yeah, these millennials, they, they, uh, these new people, they don't. So I just. And I, I don't even know if it's that because I've seen older dudes act like that. No, that's you know true I mean? too. You know what? You're right. You're right. P I've people, seen older dudes, a lot know, of people get out of pocket. Well, ego is a a powerful thing, man. It people get caught up in that shit, especially in show business. People just yeah, because that's what they put their place their happiness on. And in well, it's also the, they're valued. They're, they're being yeah. validated in the context of what you do and what you do, and, and which is really interesting because. In so many ways, it's so arbitrary. 
it, it, it's, Most definitely, it's not a, you don't it's not a meritocracy. I'm not saying you're going to be in a situation where you have absolutely no talent, but if there's not a direct relationship, a one to one relationship, but it's funny. So, um, I felt it, like I felt the kind of the uncomfortableness, the energy. I kind of looked heat, at E and E back down, and then this is the this was the class move. So it was it was a bunch of us, yeah. And E picked up the bill. Oh, I got it. Like, <laughs> yeah, I got it. It's fine. Man. And then and then everything was like, oh well, he oh he's he is cool. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> But it was like, it was so, like, I knew what he was doing. He knew what he was, and it was just, it was instantly <laughs> yeah. the, a way to just stick a pin in it. Yeah, so let's now just let this go. It's not even that. Yeah, this, you this know what I'm saying? Don't, this, he don't have to feel insecure. Yeah, he, he just don't, don't know to, me like that. You know yeah, what I mean? So, yeah, you know, my yeah. problem is, is like, you know, I, I'm very, like, I'm, I, I'm easily to act familiar with you because I, <laughs> you know what I mean? And especially if you in the in the brotherhood, I feel like yeah, if yeah. you're a comic, there's a certain yeah, yeah. way. Which is I really feel... is really an acceptance. Yeah, somebody was saying that to me that I was roasted. This um, I was hanging out um with Greer uh, this weekend, and this kid, young comic kid, well, I've seen him a little, but a lot of times, and he goes to Greer, he goes. Oh man! Before I even started doing comedy, I saw you at this uh, this show, and man, my girl was like, my girl was like, she thought you were so great. And then she goes, uh, she goes, you know, now that I'm doing comedy, she was like, if you ever see that guy, you make sure you tell him that I thought he was hilarious. This was was a message right. from his girlfriend, and uh, he goes. Yeah, she she fucking loved you, man. And then when I heard the joke you did, I knew it was you. And he goes, it's and so it was like it was so for her, it's Sebastian and then you as her friend. And I was like, oh, so close to a nice compliment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I go, it's I, so I'm fucking with Grant. It's uh, Sebastian and then you. <laughs> And then uh, yeah, it's not even Phil a shit on right yeah. <laughs> it's not even a shit on Sebastian because Sebastian, you know, it, it's it's just about no, na don't name somebody just, else. Why would you need to do that? You don't. Need, why is that? You don't need to let somebody know they won a silver medal. There was no contest. They created the whole fucking thing. It's like you could have just given the compliment and it would have been nice. Instead of now, yeah. all of a sudden, you have framed a compliment that puts him. Secondary to somebody else automatically. Which he didn't even have to know. That. Yeah, go, he didn't, you know sometimes people. Great? Yeah, I yeah. Say, I say, great. You know what's great when you get a compliment and then you get a nice ball kick from the back, <laughs> 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 a nice kick in the dick from the and, back. And, here, and here's that. Here's that picture of us, by the way. Just so you oh, should. nice. <laughs> oh, let me see. Hold that. Keep holding. It. Oh my god, that's adorable. <laughs> though it's worth it. Now here's the thing. I would say sometimes they you know it's stuff that you don't normally do like it's fun that's a fun little picture that you'll have yeah for yeah. the rest of your life you know and yeah, so we just did that and then you know what i mean well it's Look a balance you. so it's Look a balance you eat all sentimental and soft i'm loving it I, 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 but that, that's but that's but i feel like i feel like okay here's what i feel because this one where you say that i feel like comedians artist types but especially comedians let's say normal people uh, their their highest highs, their lowest lows. I think they're like, let's say they're in here, you know. Uh -huh. Right, right. And I think comedians are way out here. You can't even see it. <laughs> highest in highs the and galaxy. lowest lows. You got yeah, the purpose. Yeah. We out in the galaxy, you know. So, so, so what ends up happening is, is like as 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 um, passionate or whatever you can get about something, you also have the re the opposite of that, and we feel all of that. Yeah. Mm. So I've never been I've never been one to. And it's also just being an actor. I've never been right. one to shy away from my vulnerabilities, my sensitivities. Because well, I don't. That's what makes you a great comic, too. Because I think, because my thing too is like, because I don't care what you think. You know, no, no, nothing's gonna get me. People being like, "Oh man, you too, you soft." Like, okay. <laughs> well, well you, and you know, I didn't mean it that way. I <laughs> no, no, no. Like, I know, I know, dope. I know. But yeah. I was just thinking about like, yeah. It, it just reminded me of like how. It just reminded me of like how like we feel so many different things because you know you know people in so many different ways and then it's just right, kind of you right. go and you just go oh yeah you know i'm reminded that like you because you have a hothead somebody will be like a real hothead and then and then yeah. 
you know, and then as you get older, it's even more. I think we're just more aware of the switch when we get older. But when right, we're like right. little younger, we're we're feeling all that like this. Yeah, yeah. I, I but I, but you're right. I mean, the, the the great thing is to be able to do some square shit every yeah. once in a while. You yeah. know, um, it's it's like uh, I like the fact that I'll do some square shit that I wouldn't normally like somebody will say yo let's do. like i remember going to with this girl to a uh dueling pianos like a, some goofy shit that i would Piano never bar, yeah. <laughs> like two o'clock in the morning and it yeah. was like what was cool is like if you you know people would put the request they would put the request in and then if um <laughs> if uh somebody tipped the piano you could tip it through Venmo. When you tip them, you they change the song immediately, right? Oh. So so um these couples would be like, Yeah, could you play our this is our song that we got married? And then there'd be endless love. And then I would go, I'd put a tenor on it and just stop it at the <laughs> <laughs> Oh my you're cause you're cause you're a monster. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. I thought this was supposed to be an example of how how yeah, nice yeah, exactly, it is to yeah. do something normal. Where, do you, where will you be? Yeah, so he don't. Well, he here was the fun a, part. He found a he found a way to be himself in that moment. So I'm gonna go do this <laughs> sappy shit, but I'm a, I'm bringing a monkey wrench with me. That's his shit. He'll go. Now, he'll go the, on a. <laughs> here's the thing, though. The chick that I was with, she was like, <laughs> uh, she loved it. She was like, Are yeah, you? yeah, <laughs> shit on there. <laughs> Yeah, this guy, him. this guy goes on a love boat with a drill. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just this is the new softer Dante that we were talking about. There was, so, there, was there was slow dancing. I was like twenty dollars, <laughs> <laughs> and all of a sudden, whoop, dead is. It's funny, but um, uh, yeah, yeah, we it's, were, it's uh, fun. You, you. Yeah. It, so what you learn is to put your ego aside at times for that person. And it's a weird balance because, I listen, on this show, I've definitely been the guy to say I will not go fucking pumpkin picking, right? That's just – or I will go pumpkin picking, but just, you know, just know this is a favor for you. I, I'm i very adamant on, uh, against having to like, act we could like go pumpkin you enjoy picking, it. But I'm getting the butt. What? I'm definitely getting the butt. For what? <laughs> what? I don't know what that means. <laughs> What does that so mean? You're, getting, what you saying? Like you're gonna, you're gonna go? She's giving you anal. If oh. I go pumpkin, <laughs> give me the butt. I'll no, pick but your my, dumb. That pumpkins. don't seem like an equal. Sh- <laughs> yeah. Well, listen. That's you how much how I much don't want to go pumpkin, pumpkin picking. picking. <laughs> All right. So I mean, I made high. This is a high demand. This is a high trade value. Yeah. Well, how much he loves anal. You know? but well, a, one. Well, one thing I've learned though, man. You will say like, if you express that you don't like something. Mm-hmm. That is the thing that your lady is going to want you to do because then it will show that you love her. It's a weird thing, but it, it dip- you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Anytime you go, like, anytime you have, like, that's why it's tough because, like, you're saying you're non negotiables. Yeah. Once they hear them non negotiables, they're like, well, let me see if I can get him to negotiate because then if that's a non negotiable and he does it, it will show how much he cares about me. Yeah, but it also shows who she is as a person because. Now she just wants to prove she just wants to prove that she can bend you to show to, to mm. prove your love. And if you're doing like one of the things, you know, because because many or you're not, or you're not proving about, it enough. <laughs> well, right. Exactly. If you're not proving it, then there's this there's this need for this challenge. Um, one of the things that many was talking about is like, you know, and, and Harry, this is you too, like just being mm-hmm. so so independent like we're so accustomed to just being and and guys this is something that i learned from my first marriage um was you have to include your partner in your life like shit that shit that you don't need them to do but you have to give them tasks a woman doesn't stay it doesn't fall in love with you for what you do for her she falls in lo- love with you for what you, you she does for you because you give her purpose in the context of your life. And so one of the things with my first marriage is I was so independent, right? So first, when I started, I, when I started doing comedy, I was with her before I started doing comedy. So this is 22 years ago. 
and your first uh, wife you're talking about my first wife yeah and i was like i want to like so she used to go with me to shows and it was exciting for her and it, she, and i'd be like yo is this funny is that funny but after like three four five years of doing comedy I, i'm not asking you're a special ed teacher you're not even for, like my skill set i mean i'm doing it every night a couple times a night I'm just better at it. So I stopped asking her if it's funny or what do you think about mm. this or what, what about that? And so comedy became such a separate thing that she stopped coming. And then she was she was taking Zumba, whatever the fuck she was doing. And and then our lives became so separate because and I just I just figured being a good guy. You know, being a good man was a guy who supports his woman about what she wants to do. And if she don't want to do something, just don't do it. But you, you can't take that for granted because they have to have something to do in the context of your life, whether you need it or not. They have to they have to feel needed in the context of your life. I mean, me and he, he talk about that a little bit because you and I were having a good conversation about that. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I feel like, you know, especially because they also can see that this is a thing that, you know, you're passionate about yeah and if it's something you're passionate about that's another it's a, you know and insecurities come in where it's just like yeah. i should be the most important thing in your world right. and when you're like a, a person that is successful and passionate about something you obviously see that it's like no i'm passionate about a, a, a number of things you are one of them mm. and 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 it, it has to be you know well let me incorporate you in this right too. I don't want you to think that this is more important, but this is right. like, you know, you know what I mean? And then we look at but things. It is important. Like, it is important. Extremely, That's what I'm saying. Extremely, it's extremely important. important. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. If I dump you, I still got this. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like really important. So it's like, and they need to know that it's important because, you know, that's the thing is like, no, we're not going to, I'm, I'm going to go do this. You right. know, like regardless of what's going on, they, they have to understand how important it is. Mm -hmm. So when, when it's time for that, whatever they're gonna be like, well, I know he's gonna go do. He's gonna go. He's going out of town. Right, right. So let me work around that, and you have to make sure that you're involving her in that. In right, how, right. You know, like, and like, here's my schedule. Here's what I'm doing. Here's where I'm going. You right. know, it's like, uh, you know, whatever it might be. Maybe your girl like wants to be a part of the travel arrangements. Yeah. Maybe she likes yeah. doing that stuff. You know, she's yeah. like, I'm, I'll, I'll book your flights. I'll pack your bag or whatever. Whatever the thing is. That, you know, so then, you know, like my lady likes to send me stuff to the hotel. Like, you know, you want me to send you a target order, you know? So I'm at the hotel and then like grapes and water and stuff like that will show up. And well, I, hit, I hit her up and I'm like, thanks. I, oh, I needed this. This is dope. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. You know right. what I mean? And that's all part of the, the thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. That it make, creates that union. Um, When yeah. we, we was at, we was at Skanks Fest, uh, Eric didn't know what clothes he had. She she she, she worked the whole thing. The, yeah, she, yeah, I knew exactly what outfits. Are. And then the thing too is like she would put my outfits together, and then I would send her a picture and be like, "Oh, look at good job! Look look at me today." And she was like, "Oh my god, blah blah blah." You know what I mean? So I like I, I, I that's the thing I do too is like if I'm about to leave the house and she'll see me and be like, "You can't wear that." I'd be mm -hmm. like, "What? This is dope. This is my good shirt with my." She's like, "It doesn't look good." I'm like, "All right, what do you want me to wear?" You know? And it's like. Yeah. Who cares, right? But, it's like so for you. That's resistance. you're fine. You're like if it doesn't bother you, why not do it for her? You know, if yeah, if, if it doesn't, well, let her do it for you. Let her really or, let yeah. her do it for you. Right, yes. but that is doing it for her, letting her do it for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's all in the same, yeah. the same sort of thing. But that's where you it comes to like fuck yourself with that. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. your mind. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's and inception. It's, that, that's sometimes how it feels though it, within relationships where you fucking end up in a loop. You're like, where the fuck am I in this? in this conversation am i doing this for her is it for me you know and that's a weird balance and you have to balance out your ego as well of like i don't you know because what you're when dante when you talk about that it's interesting because it doesn't work in reverse like we don't need to be involved in their life as much no like if, if i'm not almost I don't want at all hang like out with you and your goofy girlfriends i don't want to <laughs> uh, the goofy shit that they talk i remember <laughs> going out with this girl and we were I forget where we, we was in we was in miami and then we went to some party and her girlfriend was with us, right? Because she was from Miami and uh, she so that a fight broke out. Right. So now minute the fight breaks out, I'm 
I'm like right in, I'm in man mode, right? All right, move over here, move over. This bitch is taking a video. Like, there it's, it's six dudes fighting. She's standing there looking through the camera. Things things appear much closer than they really are. I, I had to snatch her because she was in the in the way of the fight. I mean, they were tossing chairs and so she didn't get hit. Her, and I'm pulling her, moving now. My my tricks is I like I did the um I tell this story all the time. I went and seen the uh Javante Davis fight. Uh uh Javante Davis and Romero. You you watch boxing, right? Um not hey, really. Not, not really. really. So Javante Davis, Tank Davis is 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 Mayweather's little lights can do from he's from Baltimore, and uh, we're at the Barclays Center, and it's amazing how the ghetto of Baltimore blends with the ghetto of Brooklyn like seamlessly, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> where the only way you know who's from Baltimore is the slangs that they use, right? right? But it was it was so I'm in, you know, and I'm 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 a you know, bit of a I've been known to be a bit of a street dude, and I could just feel the energy like nobody's really sitting in the seats, everybody's standing around, profiling it's, it's got the, the 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 floor seats were four grand. The seats behind was like two grand a piece. We're in the seats behind. Early on, a fight breaks out, 30 dudes. There's Prada sneakers flying all over Louis Vuitton <laughs> bags. Dudes, you know, uh, North Carolina colored a or uh, uh, Jordan Elevens are flying. I I can't. I don't believe. But but as the fight was going, I go look. I could see that Javante was going to knock this kid out. He just kept timing him, and I said to her, I said, "Listen, as soon as this knockout goes, we're out of here. We're not we're not going to watch the interview and everything." So Javante, if you look at the fight, the Javante slips, pop, drops him. By the time he's climbing on the on the turnbuckle, like ah, right, we are, right. we are on the first floor looking at it on the monitor, heading out, <laughs> heading out the side door. We get out, we get about three, four blocks. So all I hear is pop, 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 pop. They they shooting up. It's an active shooter on the block. It's just, just get, it. but it's like you, you you you. I know what that's like. And she knows that I'm, um, uh, that's that if I say something, it's like I feel I got this. This is going down. She don't argue. Right. She wouldn't argue me. But her girl was like, "Oh, let's take a picture. Like, like, would you get ready to get hit in the head with a with a with a stray bullet, fucking around?" And so yeah, and that's I, when you turn to your girl, like, "How uh, how how close <laughs> you are? You know, are you gonna be okay if you never see her again? Because you know." Cause, and then she's like, I, I could tell, I tell he don't like you. He don't like me. No, it's not that I don't like you. Just you're dumb and you're in the way. And so they have these goofy kind of friends. It's just like this dudes that we just, you, we will not as men, you just don't fuck with. Yeah. You go, oh, this, this dude is not, I'm not, this does cause we're not hanging out with somebody that makes us unhappy. That what that scenario, when you talk about, uh, uh, I don't really like her. Like she got to fight with you so she can hang out with the chick. Hey, yeah. girl, we ain't gonna do that, right? We ain't gonna do that. We ain't gonna yeah. do that at all. And then, um, and, then, and then it's like, and with that kind of person we talk about, it'll be like a boss or something, yeah. you know? It'll be like, yeah, a, well, you like, have to, yeah, it's like a shift, a shift supervisor that you can't stand, or like, you know what I mean? When yeah. you had a regular job, or maybe it's a club owner or a booker yeah. or somebody that you're just kind of like, or a comic, go, a comic. I gotta go deal with this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah that's so, a comic, some, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, well, you're just kind of yeah. like, ugh, I don't want to deal with this dude. Uh, you y'all y'all trying to have kids now, right? Yeah. So now what's what's interesting is me is like I I feel like man, there's so much that I know now. Like how it's funny because Harry's girl wants to have kids, and Harry is like, but I I just feel like I I just feel like um Harry's having kids though. He <laughs> loves his girl. He loves his girl. He there's no way he he, he thinks he's on the fence, you could be on the fence. She could just yeah. gonna move that fence. To yeah, where, yeah, yeah. Where I guess. Baby. But... Gonna make a new fence, and you'd be like, "Wait, what? <laughs> what, what fence is that? Fence? <laughs> this fence show up? Well, well, that fence is within this boundaries of this <laughs> fence." Yeah, because it's it's and and I, and the honest thing, I think I, you know the the thing is, she always she also wants to. Uh, it, it, she doesn't just want kids; she wants kids with him. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Right. That is a very that's a very that's a that's a great distinction. 
Yeah. 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 So that, which uh, is that's important. Which is why he don't have no. He thinks he oh, thinks he's God. deciding and oh, and God. serving. He, he has but, no idea. Anyway. <laughs> it's a fucking seems like a nightmare and i want i i love kids like i love I, yeah I that's you know great, what that really but... is that's just your own fear that's your own fear of being like you're afraid of what kind of father you're gonna be you're afraid of being like a provider am i gonna am i doing the right thing am i making it enough most can i do afraid everything of, of having add i can't get shit done now without a fucking yeah, kid yeah. that's what i'm saying it's all here. about what i'm saying though is like yeah. it's not that that's you don't right. want just kids when he just admitted to that yeah, like, yeah, yeah. that's, that's what i'm yeah, saying yeah. it's all about you and how you feel like can i do this and we all that, that's just a regular man thing even before any man gets married they they nervous they scared they're yeah, just thinking I, about you I, know i get that but anybody you see they just fucking look tired and miserable like everybody who's That's got kids are always few just like years. Uh, 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 don't you know and, and then it and yet our yeah, parents honest, and yet our parents made it like, yeah yeah but, yeah, oh, but i mean let's I be, honest, gonna be like happy. my parents my parents are fucked up I can't follow nothing. They did. They definitely had kids, but it was. And that's why you feel that way too, because you're looking at because you're looking at that terrible example. That's exactly. Definitely. So you make yourself. That's what I'm saying. I knew it was. It's, it's always a combination of things. It's your own Most fears, definitely. and then your fears are come from the fact that you know you you think about you know your own thing. Yeah, he ain't got. He he thinks he's making this decision. He ain't making no. This is a done deal. Every time I'm around them, and I I, I was like. He 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 asked, you know, new fathers and stuff, people like we comics, we know they had kids. So what are you what what do you think? I'm like, yeah, you do my you, research. You, yeah, <laughs> it, your research ain't gonna matter. <laughs> hey, it's, it's scary. It's, it's a scary thought, you know. But uh, even getting married was scary when you've been a bachelor for so long or yeah. when you think like, you know, but then it, what happens is it's just a different lifestyle. It's yeah. not better or worse, it's just different. different. And then you realize and you how can much make you it like better it. and you can make it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You make it better in the context of, of yeah. what it is. I mean, it could be really dope. And I say on stage, know, I didn't know I needed this until I got it. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, Fair enough. it's dope. It's some it's really it is a dope thing. And I said that to her. he don't believe me, though. And I mean, my situation well, is not great at all. Hey, your situation right. is not great. But when it was here, you were you did have a good setup while it was here, though, in the sense that you had her doing you you had you got the good finances to be able to like throw cash right. at it and go you take care of this kid and then i'll come in and i'll have fun when i want to have fun and then when i'm done with it i could leave the house and do you were you had a good see what i want to do with her and i've told her this i would love the ideal situation would be to be married with her but still be uh like a part-time dad like a like a divorced father <laughs> That's a sweet schedule I'd love, but I can't really convince her that that oh, would so work you, out. So, so you lazy. That's what I'm yeah, finding yeah. out here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> oh most yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. But at least I know I'm lazy. <laughs> no, I'm not lazy. It's not that I'm lazy. It's just I know that it, what, um, it, what it, you it said is everything. absolutely lazy. <laughs> no, I got projects yeah. to do. <laughs> Who's got to fix all this shit around here? It ain't going to be her and the fucking baby. You'd be surprised how much. You know, I don't believe in the concept of when somebody says they don't have enough time. I don't mm. believe in that. I believe that you always make time for the things that you want to do. That's true. You always make time for the things that are important to you. So when somebody is saying like, you know, hey, you want to, hey, I, can you come, you want to come do this thing? And they go, oh, I'm just so busy. You're just like, no, you, you basically just saying, this is true. no, yeah. I don't want to do that. Right. I don't want to carve out time other to, things do that. to do. Yeah. There are other things that I find more important to me that I would rather do. Yeah. Yeah. He's right. And I'm going to tell you something. There's something to it. Just to have another you like it's another like you made a you like that's a. Oh, we're not having <laughs> biological children. That's not happening. It would be adoption if we do it. Why is no that? biological children? We're not you, doing it. Yeah. We're not okay. doing it. We're not doing right. that. Like, what are you talking about? You made it. You're, uh, you're too lazy to go through the adoption process. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's easier? I don't want to ruin easier? her vagina. Is that so wrong as a man? You don't ruin oh, nobody. That's, that's, not, the re that's not the reason. Yeah. That's not. Oh, I just like wow, stating man. that up front. <laughs> all the like, all the women listening, all six of them just went. <gasps> you know what I mean? Six. Yes. Oh, damn, we've doubled our numbers. I don't want to spoil her gooch. <laughs> no, that's not the reason. <laughs> but I don't want to break the gooch. First of all, somebody's got to stop this genetic poison from continuing. Somebody's got to do the right thing. That we both come from fucked up parents. 
Why keep, why keep this bloodline going? There's mental illness in my family. Why would I want to propagate that and continue uh, but that? I think, but, I, but you, you know, you should really look at and see like, like if circumstances play a role in that, you know? I had a buddy of mine, he was like, uh, he's a comic and he was, you know, he was a, he's got a girl and he was like, he wants to propose to her and he just couldn't do it, he couldn't do it. And it, a lot of it had to do with how his father wasn't shit, okay? Mm. And so he tells me, he goes, He's about to take his lady on a trip. And he says, well, I already told her, I'm not proposing to you on this trip. And I said, why the hell would you say that? <laughs> like, why would you do that? Like, this is a perfect time. You're going to Hawaii. You just guys are going on a vacation. This is the time you should propose. You're ready. You got the ring. Like, what are you talking about? Like, don't, you're not your father. That's what I had to tell mm. him. Mm. You're not your father. Yeah. Be yeah. just yeah. be different. You and know? you're not, Harry. I, I think that's father, really but... you're not you're not your parents on any level. And I and I'll I'm say not. this as well. And, and uh, whenever somebody figures they have it all fu- figured out, yeah, they are the worst. They're the sure, worst without a doubt. Human beings. They have the worst kids. They're the worst parents. It's the parents that are going. Ah, man, I I just don't. I just want to make sure I, I'm doing research. I just, you know, am, I don't know if I have enough time. And I, those are the people that are considering all the all the all the variables right. so that they can be good this parents. Is true. It's the yeah. ones that think they got it all figured out yeah. that are shit. I your Most mom, definitely. you know, your mom is wild for the night, and she, is. she was like, "Let's <laughs> let it roll." Let it roll, puppy. Yeah, but you know what? You're trying to hold yourself to a higher standard. That's why. That's what the sure. fear is about. But it's you're gonna like, do that anyway. Yeah, you're like, I want to be better, but I'm saying he's going. I yeah. you ultimately I hear, look, I just want to be the best dad I could be, and then you're saying to yourself, I don't know if I can, so maybe I shouldn't, and as opposed to like just being like, you know what? Let me just do this. I'm gonna do it. I'm with someone I love, We're, and this is part of the deal, and I can do it. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I think I'd be a great dad. I just think practically I couldn't do that and be happy doing stand up and doing all this other shit that I do. I don't think I know? could balance out. I, I don't know. But once you find out, I can't undo it. That's yeah, the but thing. How, but how are you balancing? I'm like, not all I'm the things you're doing in your life right now. It's horrendous. It's not going well, Eric, as far as <laughs> balancing and getting all the things I need to get done. It, I'm not going to lie to you. It ain't going well. Well, there's something that focuses you in when you have to to be responsible for someone else. Yes, that's another fear we have that's too. That's what they say. Yeah, that's you know, what dads have told me. Well, that's but that. that. But I'm saying you should already feel like that even in your relationship. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, before I had my son, I was like, I'm having a good life, and I had a great life. Uh, if this plane goes down, I don't want it to go down. But I was like, I don't have to pay my Amex bill. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know, I was, you know, I don't have to pay. I mean, somebody else. And and then when my little dude is, I go, I can't. Like, what the? I yeah. got shit to do. You know, yeah. I got things to do. It's a it's a different energy. It's a now different like, focus. I don't, I, do I do I need these Yeezys? <laughs> <laughs> That's but, true, Harry. When's the last time I bought a pair of Gators? <laughs> uh, gators? I don't know. That's been a while. When the last time yeah. I bought a fur coat? Now is that for the baby, or did you just get bored? Because I feel no, like you I weren't. Just, I just. I don't. Yeah, I think. I think you aged out of fur coats. I, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I no, think I'll tell you kinda... what I did though. But then what I bought that? a fucking five hundred dollar power wheel for him. Like I wanted. Right. Like he has everything you you know. Yeah, he had everything. You, I just want him to have everything, and I don't. And the shit, the the empty shit that I would buy for myself, I don't. You started I'd buying give it to him. Yeah, stuff for him. You know. Well, you just, know that's the interesting part, Dante. You had a setup where you financially, she was just taking. She was a mother full time, and financially, you had enough to make that happen. That would not be the case with. Me. I mean, listen, I don't know. I'm going through all the logistics of reasons, but I mean, you know, it's, you try it's to just, talk yourself out of. But your your lady is dope. She's great. She's, she's amazing. She's She'd gonna, be an amazing mom. If anything, and, whether, it would be and if you both to had to work, to if you both had to work and do whatever, she she would love doing it. To, yeah, you, you would. Fig- I'm just saying, it's one of those things where you just go, "Oh, you're actually gonna just figure this out." You know, it's I like you're because you, think of it this way: like if you're, you know, I don't know if you have aspirations to be an actor or I don't know what your thing is, but like I'm thinking about right now, like you know, I'm doing all these things that I'm doing. But like at any time, 
I could add a huge responsibility. Like you could book a movie, you could book mm. a television show. That's a good point. And all of a That's sudden a now, point. all of a sudden now, this, you know, 50, 60 grand a week job, I have to take up all my time. But you still find time to, you know what I mean? I still got to do my you podcast. Will find, you're not going to say I'm not time. doing it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Because it's because it's important to you. Because it's like, you know what I mean? So it's like, you know, this this show could get picked up, like syndicated. The next thing you know, Sirius XM is like, hey, we want you guys to do this sure. five days a week uh, from from 6 a.m. to whatever. And we're going to pay you X amount of dollars. And we're going to do it. Somehow, and somehow you go, we'll do well, it. we got to do that. You know, I got, you know, you know what I mean? For the opportunity. So what I'm saying is. And you're you, still going to change a diaper. Too. And what I'm saying is this, though. When you look at things that you're going to get and you think the the uh, prize in that is monetary value or fame and fortune. Shit. But I don't know what I'm saying is that if, 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 if whatever that feeling you get that when you are being successful, what I'm saying is I believe that equivalent to that is how it feels to be in a great relationship how it is to you know be raising another human being as mm. you know those those two things could be equivalent you know i'm making so much money and i'm being successful and i'm getting the things oh i'm raising a family and it's like those two things have to be thought of they have to they have to be in the same like good the same goodness caliber the, the caliber, same yeah the same caliber of yeah. like thought yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's for just, sure. I don't know. It's hard for me to balance. I mean, all. even I know when it's it, it, hard to balance. Even all that when stuff it comes to, to 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 friendships, like you have, I mean, one of the things I say is like, you know, as a comic man, I'm, I'm so lucky that, like, we'll do some shit, like even fucking hanging out with Eric. Uh, was two, three. We had a yeah. fucking ball. Yeah, yeah, it was great. I, I, I was, I, mean, I was talking about it uh, just, just because I was like, what a great time. The yeah. crowds were great, and it was a great comic hang. Yeah, you know? yes, it was that's so what I loved about we it. The had most. a fucking ball, and that, that wasn't something that we planned. It was just sure, I didn't even and, know you guys were gonna be there. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know you, and so it just was like, bam. So it's like me and Harry will hang out. I mean, we was hanging out somewhere at some club. And and with um a good friend okay. of ours, yeah, and we're smashing him, and he's smack, you know, we're just shitting it's on fun. each other. And I was like, these moments that we have, that we create these moments over and over again, which is so dope that we're able to do that. And and like this is the you go, man, this is the funnest time ever until you do it again. Until yeah. you, you show up with another motherfucker that you didn't even think was gonna be there, and it. And it happens. It just... And I'm saying that that particular time that we had, it is equivalent to my kid just started walking. Oh, yeah. I just dropped my kid off at first grade yeah. for the first yeah. time. I just wrote my t taught my kid how to ride a bike. Oh, I just took my lady to this vacation. Or we just we, you know we. Th what I'm saying is those yeah. feelings it's about will, moments. Yeah, those it's, moments mm -hmm. will be equivalent in your head, and there'll be things that you want to do and want to share. Let's take a commercial. It's like we'll this... be right back. <laughs> <laughs> it's that that photo album, and you're you're yeah, picking up these snapshots you, you, but, every day. Yeah, you talk. I've this... been running around. My 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 son just uh, for Halloween. He was the the very hungry caterpillar, and I I got the, and he's there, and I'm here, and I send him the costume, and he's been wearing the costume for weeks now. Like Halloween nice. is done, and he's. Oh, you got a little weirdo. Okay, one yeah, of those. He's a little, he's never, uh, hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you, you go, you go zoom with him one day, and he gonna have a bone in his nose. And he, <laughs> what are you gonna say? You got, you can't say shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you, but hey, man, let's shut it down, bro. Uh, man, I love you, bro. It's good to see you, man. Um, Anytime. Um, just dope. Always dope to see you. Always good to see you. When when back next time you're in the city? I don't know, but I'll let you'll be the first one I hit up. You know you what I mean? Better. You yeah, better. You'll be the first one I hit up. Yeah, we do that. Yeah, get for a real sure. Steak. No, Let's that's what I think. And, and I have to remember that too. It's like, it's a great comic hang in LA because I know all these people. But what yeah. I also realize is I actually know a number of people in New York too that I'm yeah. like, it got the same yeah. thing. We just, don't get to see, we just don't get to see yeah. each other enough, right? Yeah, so yeah, now yeah, I got to yeah. like figure that because I'm even thinking about like, maybe I just need to come into the city. I just need to book some shows where it's worth and it. Like, it don't got to be like a bounce around Carolines. Yeah, yeah. I just got to come into the city and be like, yo, let me come 
come to New York for five days and just hit the scene. You know what I mean? And I probably should do the same thing. Come out there and hang out with you or whatever the fuck and see what's yeah, going on. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. It's like we, we don't do that enough. Let's let's do that. Um, Anything you want to plug, family? Social media? What is this anything? coming out? Uh, Two weeks. Oh, it comes out in two weeks? Oh, I don't even know where I'm going to be in two weeks. Uh, but in my calendar, ericgriffin.com, check it out. I got I'm on. I got three podcasts. Riffin with Griffin, which is my personal podcast. And then I got another podcast, Gen to Gen, which is me and this kid. He's 25. You know, So we like, talk about different generational things. And then I'm on a new podcast called The Golden Hour, which used to be King and the Sting. And that's me, Chris D'Elia, and uh, Brendan Schaub. Nice. And so it's called the Golden Hour. So that's every Friday. So you know you can see me on a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm I'm out here just living life. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. performing where I I'm, I'm around the country performing, and I'm also uh, you know in L.A. performing a lot, and I'm doing these podcasts, and you know yeah. I'm also going to be on HBO Max, uh, the the Minxed season two of Minxed. I'm doing a few episodes on that. Nice. So I'm, nice. I'm around. I'm around. Nice. Dope. 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 Harry, talk to me. Uh, for all my stuff, you could go to all my social media at Harry Turjanian uh, to see the stuff, especially YouTube and TikTok. And then uh, also, if we're doing relationship consultations, if you uh, need some advice about your relationship, sex advice, what have you, hit me up via email, advice from Harry at gmail.com. At, la Yo, at, uh, at la lazy.com. At lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I wish know. I was lazy. I wish I was lazy. I'm incompetent. I, I, incompetent, though. <laughs> I'm not good. Either way, it's not good. I'll, I'll give you that. I don't get stuff done, but lazy, I would have more fun. I wish. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, when it comes to social media, Google me, bitch. Um, and uh... <laughs> That's your website? Google me, bitch. <laughs> dot com. <laughs> see if I can get that done. Yeah, I know. You should. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, um... You know, GYBB gets your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution being a podcast. Y'all want a consultation? You know how to get me um, over there. Is it? Yeah, there it Dante is. DanteNero.com. DanteNero.com. Click on consult. Don't forget to sign up for the Patreon. Uh, Patreon.com slash manspool202. Yo, I love y'all. Yo, E, thank you so much for doing this. We are out. No problem.